Good evening to all my friends in Japan. My name is Zigzag. I'm a pro GeoGuessr player. I played in the GeoGuessr World Cup and I'm also a YouTuber. I'll try and explain my entire thought process. Okay, so first one here immediately, I'm thinking this is France and there are a few reasons for that. Number one here, well, let's ignore the language first. Number one here, we got this pole, which has the divots in it, so slight holes. And these ones don't go to the top, but they go kind of all the way down. And these ones you can find most of the time in Europe. They're found in France, in Spain, and in Portugal. Uh, but particularly France and Spain have the most. Um, then if we turn our attention here, we have a sign that's kind of uh, got a crooked signpost. Now this one, I think out of all the countries in Europe, is most commonly found in France. So that immediately makes me think we're gonna be in France here. If we turn around, we can see that we have a white border on the signs here. That's another thing to differentiate from Spain where they don't have a white border. So the red goes all the way to the edge in Spain. Now, of course, it's well and good to know that you're in France, but then you also have to make a guess within France and try and get as close as you can. So I'm noticing that we've got a bit of dryness going on here, a bit of like, it doesn't look quite like very lush and green. Um, and then we also have these buildings with kind of pale orange roofs and white um, kind of walls. And that reminds me of the west of France, specifically maybe around Bordeaux or something like that, this kind of area here. Um, it could still be other places as well. France can be difficult, uh, but this is the region I think is most likely. So we're gonna go in for the guess here and see if we were correct about our guess. And okay, it was actually just Eastern instead. It was a very dry section here. You can see on the map, this is listed as dry, whereas everywhere else, there's no other dry section nearby. So that's kind of a difficult one. Um, I think uh, there's, yeah, yeah, that's okay. We can move on to the next one. Okay, next round here. This one uh, is interesting. Ooh, okay. So first thing I'm noticing here is that we have a flat signpost. So instead of the signpost being round as it is in most countries, it's actually flat on the edge. So that flat signpost inside of Europe, you can find that one in France, in Andorra, Spain, and Portugal. So it's just four countries where you normally see those ones in Europe. Other countries where you'd see such a uh, thing is Chile and in the western half of Australia. So yeah, that can be quite useful. Um, one thing I've noticed here is that we, it's, it's interesting, we, we're very rural. We don't see any houses. And then we also have some trees which so I wonder if we could actually be in Andorra here it's kind of a difficult round because it's very rural for Andorran standards but I think we're going to be in the Pyrenees mountains regardless which is this mountain range here that's the way it looks to me these pine trees also definitely look like that area of the world we can also check that the sun is to the south of us here that would mean that we're in the northern hemisphere um which is already where I thought anyway and then also we got the antenna, which is really commonly found in Europe. So let's see if it is actually Andorra. I'm not 100% sure on this occasion, uh, but let's pick a road where there's no one, there's no other people. We're going north, south, so yeah, it could be this one here. Uh, let's find out. And we were on the right road, 218 uh, meters away. Very nice stuff indeed. So just kind of use the compass to realize we were going north, south. And then I didn't see any houses. You can see there are no houses here. There was one there, but not many houses along this road. So I kind of thought that we might be there and that was a nice result. Okay, next one here, I immediately believe that we're gonna be in Argentina here. So if you wanna get something into your brain about Argentina, it's that it's often got this brown dirt and no trees. And that's what you see in Patagonia region, which is Rio Negro down to Tierra del Fuego. That's in the Patagonia region. Taking a look around, we also have the black Google car here. And the black Google car is very, very commonly found in Patagonia, but also just in Argentina in general. And looking off into the distance, we do see some bigger bushes here. So if you see bigger bushes, it's unlikely to be Santa Cruz province because that one, it's so far south, it's really close to Antarctica, you can see. So that one normally, um, you would say it doesn't have bigger bushes like this. And these ones are quite healthy looking. They, they, they kind of look like they do get like enough, you know, sunlight and stuff like that to grow properly. So my thought is that we're actually quite a bit further north here. Maybe, maybe Rio Negro province, uh, maybe even Yuken province, something like that here. It could just be Chubut as well, but it's one of those three in my opinion. Maybe even further north, it's possible. We don't, we don't see any trees though. Um, so yeah, I think I'm going to go for my guess in Rio Negro here and Hope that that's decent. We need some hills because we do see hills here. Um, and it's always worth in Argentina checking to the west and seeing if there are any mountains. 
Now this hill is blocking any mountains, but uh, you, so I'm, yeah, I'm gonna go right here. Let's find out. Okay, and it was just in Chubut as well, right on the coast there. So that was kind of a difficult round. I think the coastal climates are often a bit more mild, which can give the vegetation a little bit more of a healthy look. So yeah, we were only one province away. Not the best guess though. Right, let's head through to the next round. Okay, next one's kind of interesting. We have these tiled roofs. So tiled roofs are particularly common in some countries, but on this occasion, I think these one, ones might be Indonesian or Sri Lankan because we're driving on the left-hand side of the road. We have all white road lines. And so then now you look at the language. Do we have anything here? Um, language is interesting. I, I, I'm not the best at telling the Indian languages apart. So I'm gonna look for other clues here. Um, let's see here. Um, okay, so we do have a bit more of the language here. So these straight, when you have the straight crossbars in in India, they're really commonly found in Karnataka, and you can also see them in Tamil Nadu, and then sometimes in other states as well. Uh, but I think this might actually be Tamil language. I'm not too sure about that. You can always go into the map and just check if you see similar things. And actually, I think this one's actually gonna be Kerala language because we got these little ticks or these little circles at the end. If you have ticks at the end, then that is something you see up here. Well, here, um, which makes sense with the roof and lots of palm trees as well. They're really commonly found in Kerala. So yeah, I'm probably just gonna go Kochi here or maybe in a bigger town nearby. Let's find out if we're right. And okay, well, it's in Kerala state. So that's a good guess, very nice. And the final round of this seed. Um, Okay, this one's interesting. So this one, I believe is gonna be somewhere in, <laughs> it should be either in, um, Bulgaria or Romania. Main reason, number one, we've got the antenna, which is commonly found in Europe. And this time we have a tape hanging off it. And this tape is found in Czechia, Slovakia, Hungary, Romania, Bulgaria. You can just draw a line up like that. These are the countries where you're gonna find that tape. Um, then what I've also noticed here is we have lots of tiled roofs. All the houses have tiled roofs. And basically every house has a tiled roof. So that's very useful. Um, and then, um, I've also noticed we have round concrete poles here, which can be found in both countries, but they are more common in Bulgaria. The antenna, the, the taped antenna is more commonly found in the east of Bulgaria. Um, but I'm actually thinking this might be Romania instead. I, I'm struggling to confirm the country here one way or the other. Um, so I'm just trying to see if we see anything else. Uh, these hooks on the pole tops, they do look rather Bulgarian, I think. So I, I think I'm actually leaning Bulgaria here. Yeah, I think I am. And so I might just uh, send it in here and we'll see if it's actually Romania or Bulgaria. But basically the architecture can help us rule it down to those two countries. And then that antenna also helps us to confirm that. So let's see here. And it was, it was Bulgaria. That's a good guess, but it was up in the north. And uh, yeah, interesting one. So there we go. That was a 21,900. I think we'll go for one more here, but I'll, I'll guess a bit quicker. And uh, yeah, let's see what happens. Next one here. So this one's pretty easy. This one is Jordan. We've got a very dry landscape and we've got this black car. Now we are on a divided highway and we're going north, northeast here. We can see that on the compass up here. So let's see where we'd be. This definitely has almost no vegetation. So it feels like the south to me. And it is also a divided highway here. So you can see that it's got the, the two yellow lines noting that. So let's actually check the road angle here by going like this. So this will give us the actual road angle. You can see that follow the yellow lines, that's what the road angle is. And the road angle here is looking surprisingly good. So I think I'm gonna guess here. And it ends up being on that road. Another really nice guess. Next one here, single yellow line. Uh, this is a difficult round actually. This one, we don't see any buildings, so could go the wrong country here. Um, we do have some cows, we have some fences. So obviously the first thing to note is we have a yellow line. So the yellow line in the center is gonna be most common in the Americas, the North and South America, um, but it's also quite common in Asia and Africa as well. Oh, this this one is, I mean, it's really hard to describe why I think this is Mexico, but I think Mexico is my main idea here. Yeah, it's just a really difficult round. My main two thoughts would be Colombia and Mexico. The sun here is to our west, so that doesn't really help. Um, um, and yeah, I think this is just gonna be somewhere in, in either Colombia or Mexico because of the vibes, but I'm gonna go Campeche here. Maybe it's Veracruz, Campeche, something like that here. And okay, well, it's actually Campeche, or yeah, just on the border with uh, Tabasco. So that's a really good guess, but just a really difficult round, hard to explain it. Next one here, looks like we're gonna be in Eastern Europe. We've got a blue strip on the plate, so that obviously indicates Europe somewhere. 
turning around here, we have no antenna. That's very interesting. So most rounds in Europe on generation three camera, so the old kind of, kind of coverage, have, have an antenna, but this one has no antenna. So check the language here, we got Cyrillic. This is leading me to believe that we might be in the country of North Macedonia. That's a country that has no antenna and also has this rounded guardrail. An easier one to remember is that North Macedonian number plates often have a bit of a tinge of red there. I don't know if you're, if you're looking on a big screen, you might be able to see that, but that's quite useful. And then if you look down that direction, um, you can see that we're using all white road lines and it's quite mountainous. So yeah, I'm thinking it's gonna be North Macedonia and it ends up being North Macedonia. In the West, it's quite green, uh, not very dry. So that's quite helpful. So we're on a really good score so far. Next one here might disrupt that pattern though. We're in a quite difficult country. Um, it's easy to get which country we're in because we've got this double concrete road. So instead of being made of bitumen, this one's made of concrete. This double concrete road is really common in Philippines. Then we also have a pole with a hook on the top. So this, a pole with a hook on the top like this is really common in the Americas. So all the way over here in Canada, you see it a lot in the US and Mexico, in Argentina, that kind of thing is very common around there. But if you're in Asia, then it's only found in Philippines. So if we can look around here, we can see these houses are Asian looking. We can see the people, they definitely look like they could be Asian as well. Um, and with that fact, we know we're gonna be in Philippines. Now, whereabouts in Philippines is a different matter. This is a very difficult round. It's hard to pick exactly where I think it is. We do have a hill to our Northwest though. I thought maybe Mindoro here, this could be a possible one. I don't really know though. I mean, maybe the mountains are the wrong direction in Mindoro. So instead I might just go in uh, Tigalon, uh, Tiga, yeah, Tigalon in, um, in Luzon Island. Let's try that. And where's it gonna be? Let's hit guess here. And it ends up being in Summer Island. Not a bad guess, not a bad guess. And the final round of the video is gonna be a very easy one. Quite simply put, if you're confused about Australia and South Africa, check for the yellow outer lines in South Africa. Then look at this dropping down pole. Uh, this one's also a really common pole top in South Africa. And if that's the case, it's very dry, um, long grass and that kind of thing then South Africa adds up to be the correct answer here. And let's go right there. And it ends up being a very close guess as well. So we end up with a 23,300, not a bad effort there. And that is going to be it. So if you wanna see another one where I break down some more tips, uh, subscribe to GeoGuessr or ZigZag Japan. Also subscribe to this channel, GeoGuessr Japan. And thank you for watching.